we are going blue color form we are going peeps all right so mayberry jamaica equity held their annual is it annual it's not even annual but them all them investor briefing today and uh, that was virtually you get me um yeah something with them now i'm on the door forgive investors um just make them aware of some of the moves that the company did over the last quarter or over the last year all right but something jump out at me is that for the first the year mayberry the big man them in a mayberry talk about access financial service that is what i think we're interested in and i think there are a couple of lessons that we can learn from hearing these people talk about access and their investment mayberry investment in access all right so i swear mayberry now start um invested in dollar just the other day and uh, if you listen blue color finance any at all but being us say we believe that mayberry exist exiting access investment are one of the worst move mayberry ever did however mayberry management would have you believe otherwise so what may i go do i'm going to play the clippings of Mayberry management talking about their investment in access them exit exiting access and their investment in dollar and them wanting to compare dollar with access financial we're gonna shed some light on all these things and see what we can get out of what management i say what i say the lessons we can learn out of these things you get me? Out of our management at all, but we as investors want to learn something. So, make we get into the Mayberry clippings. Got it. Okay, so we understand SVL, we understand CPG very well. Uh, one of you tell me about dollar. Now, I know you guys have invested in the space before. You once had a large two, either of the two of you. True. Uh, Gary, you go first. Yeah, so as you're aware, um, we're probably the first company to have really monetized and scaled a microfinance business. And we did that with Access Financial. I think when we invested in Access, they were making about $7 million per annum. Um, Jamaica. Jamaican dollars. <laughs> uh, when we exited, um, we had grown that business to about $300 million. Um, I think we exited at a good time because I think since then we exited somewhere around 2013, 2014. And now about 10 years later, they're still making on or about the same money. You know, the devil is in the details and the execution is always a big point. The big um, stumbling block. And um, keeping everybody on the same page over a period of time. You know, when these companies start to make money, you know, when they're not making money, it's, it's easy to partner. But when the money starts rolling in, you know, that's where the trouble begins. So, you know, it, it hopefully, um, you know, we, we, we've done this rodeo a couple of times. And um, maybe we can take this one to the, we only got to 300 million a year the last time. And uh, when we were exiting, we were hoping to hit a billion within two years. We're all set up to do it. Um, we couldn't agree. So we had to separate. Um, but this time we're looking for something much bigger. We're looking for billions. We, we, we love the opportunity. Okay. All right. So there you have it. Before we even get into any of the figures and crunch any of the figures, we just want to pay attention to the difference of what Gary is saying as against what Chris is saying. Gary attack as if Mayberry exited access based on information, based on data. And it was all an investment decision, objective decision for exit access. But if you listen, Chris, Chris, I make you know, sir, it's just a personal thing 
where them and access management have. Both companies or both management now see eye to eye. And as a result of that, them exited access. And we talk about this a couple of times. Blue Collar Finance always talk about this. And a couple of my subscribers them always a fill me in with information as to the magnitude of the miss when me very miss when them sell off access. And we are gonna get into some of the detail. Because proven was the one that bought the shares from Mayberry and proven make a kill. Mayberry did make a kill too. But proven make twice as much money as Mayberry in buying the access share in far less time than Mayberry. You get me? So lesson one what we learn from the game is that you never take investment personally so invest investing in a company is like a game and do not take it personal because whenever time the personal things come into place you're likely to make a mistake now if maybe you had crunchy figures and deal with the investment be a solely and the figures themselves, then I think Mayberry wouldn't exit at the time that Mayberry exited. And Mayberry would have been able to make far greater money than Mayberry made. But as you know it, some personal is come into play and them jump out and bugger things go on. So for people who don't really understand the stock market, young people who are just investing in the stock market, these are some of the things we're going to need for research and know what go on. You get me? Because as a Chris said, it is easy to partner with these companies when nothing on go on, when they need the money. But as soon as the big bucks start rolling in, problems are going to create. That was what happened with Access Finance. Mayberry won't go one direction. Access management won't go the next direction. As a result of that, them split. I wonder if the same thing are going to happen to Dollar. I wonder if the same thing are going to happen to Dollar and Access and, and Mayberry management. Where Dollar management might want to go one direction. Mayberry management them see it the next way. And as a result of that, splitting are going to go on. I just a wonder out loud what you think. What may I go do now? More and listen at the part of the clippings and get into Mayberry trying to compare Dollar Financial with Access. I want to make a sound assessment of their argument to see if what must have make sense. Listen to this. I think when we invested in Access, they were making about $7 million per annum. Um, Jamaica. Jamaican dollars. <laughs> uh, when we exited, um, we had grown that business to about $300 million. Um, I think we exited at a good time because I think since then, we exited somewhere around 2013, 2014. And now about 10 years later, they're still making on or about the same money. Um, so since then, I mean, we have looked on different investments. Uh, the business has grown. And we had the opportunity to invest in dollar um, because we saw some of the metrics um, that made sense. You know, the management team, um, you know, their credit model based on how they went about doing their business. Um, that, that, that attracted us um, to the investment. Um, we made the investment. And since we have made the investment, you know, the company continues to hit their targets. Um, you know, you had an initial hiccup, but, you know, we're able to get over that as we do with most of our businesses. Um, the, C the current CEO is doing a phenomenal job, um, Ken Ryan, along with Trevine. And, you know, they're young, they're aggressive, they understand their parameters and they're executing um, accordingly. You know, so, and we've seen that um, show in the stock price to date. You know, I think we invested, since we have made the investment, I think the stock price has been up about 30 or 40 percent. Um, we expect that to continue, certainly for um, 2024. 20, and again, some of those metrics we like. 
So one of the things some people miss in the, in the microfinance, right now, dollar is in its growth stage. So it's going to suck a lot of capital. Uh, but Mayberry has the ability to raise capital. And we have been doing so. We have, we have, we have pumped over a billion dollars um, into, into dollars since we have gotten involved. Um, but one of the things people might not appreciate about a microfinance company is that in that growth stage, you know, whilst you're pumping in capital, you will get to a point, just like any other business, um, where it matures a bit and it will slow down. And what we love about the microfinance model is that when you get to that stage, you see the reverse of what you had in the growth phase where you have to be pumping in a lot of capital. It will start to throw off a ridiculous amount of cash, um, you know, which we saw in the initial investment that we had done. And when you get to that stage, you know how you can have the reverse whereby you can front load dividend payments because the rate at which the company throws off cash. And so it's a sector that has always attracted us. And once you have the right players, the right management and the right core principles in place, it's a sector that we will spend a lot of time in. And we expect big things from dollar. I mean, I could have a business. I mean, the future is there. You will have some ups and downs, but I think with a team in place, uh, we'll see more ups than downs. Okay, good deal. Uh, my credit company. Microfinance business. And, um, you know, we, we feel the, 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 sk the scope for this business in Jamaica is really just beginning. And uh, down the road, you're going to see some of these types of companies, they're going to grow as large as some of the banks that you see in Jamaica now. So I think if you bring the right, the right uh, grouping of things together, the right technology, the right management team, the right um, financial group that can raise the capital, structure the deck correctly, you know, the right incentives for the management, um, you're, you're in a high growth business for the next 20 years. So All right, so if you listen to what Gary has said, it's almost like you're more ridicule access. And I say access growth peak, uh, access plateau out, a good time now. You get me, I say, him talk about when them just invested in access, access was making like $7 million per annum. And uh, with their help, they were able to grow access net profit to some three hundred million dollars per annum, and I must say from them exit access from them time there in twenty fourteen to now, access still a make roughly three hundred million dollars per annum. So and basically, I say access speak out, saying so. Let me go to some quick box story. I'm going to some quick back story. 2014, I think them existed access 2014. They sold access 100 million shares of access at about $12 per share, roughly. So them, them, them pulling in some $1.2 billion from that investment. Their initial investment was $38 million. So they make over a billion dollar. They make over a billion dollar. All right, them all them all access for about twelve years, so they make over a billion dollar for twelve years. Now, when we are do the compounding, when we crunch the figures, there the access investment was giving Mayberry a compounded annual return of some thirty five percent. I even understand compounding; it's almost like you make a thirty five percent every year for twelve years. This Mayberry investment was no joke. To me, are the best investment I ever see a company make. Them take the company from scratch. Was able to bring the company to the market. And the company was doing quite fine until them can't see eye to eye. You get me? So, compounding it, a compounding return of 35 percent and on a joke and access was growing its net profit by about the same rate so if you should divide the 300 million dollar where them say access and make up to date by the seven million dollar where them start 
access with and do the compounding rate, you get $35 million per year. So that is no joke return. The question is, can dollar pull that off? For the time we access pull that off, we are talking about about 20 years now. I don't know, play a thing. You get me? No. Proven. But access from Mayberry at $12. I'm proven sold some access. Just a part of their access investment. So them can buy into the JMMB, APO. Anybody can remember that. And I think proven sold the access at about $35 per share. So I'm now gonna get into the figures and I can crunch it for myself and say the killing were proven mech and proven sold about two years after. Two years or four years, about four years. Yeah, let me not lie because it was 2014 that them buy it from Mayberry and JMMB APO came out about 2018 was the early part of 2018 so let me not lie so about four years that you get me and it proven bought access at 1.2 billion dollar from Mayberry at 12 dollar per share and proven was able to sell at 35 dollars per share in four years time you can do the crunching you can do the thing I say, oh, really make the killing by access. You get me? So, me know say from ever since, maybe we sell off access, them been a search for your next access, but them can't find a next access and they will not find a next access because a next access not exists. It not exists. So, dollar came along. Uh, everybody are running into dollar and I say, yeah, this are the next big thing. But blue, blue color finance, been a showing no how dollar growth a slow. Gary talk about it. But Gary played off a nice way. He said, this is how companies grow. Them not grow linearly. Them grow and plateau and grow and plateau again. All these things. I agree with that. But blue color finance are the brave one to talk about the plateau where we see dollar plateau because nobody never did want to talk about it. And if you're looking at dollar annual report or any report where dollar job, them been a recycle the growth and a sell people. So when blue color pull out the figure, we see where dollar thing a drop off. And we've been a talk about it. People don't like hear it. But we have to talk the truth. Based on what the figures they must say. You get me? No. Just as the blue color finance been a say. Dollar need money. In order for grow. Dollar can't grow without money. Geary. Talk about that too. So it's almost like if blue color finance never said these things. Then people would have been a say these things. So I guess blue color finance have a space in the game. You get me, I say. So I must say, dollar gonna need money for grow. And we've been I say that from day one. You get me? And we've been I say the growth where people are talking about dollar have when I see it. Problem there. You get me? Dollar not have as much business as dollar want put out to the people them. I'ma have things that I can say, what make me say what I say, but I nah go say that in another video. I'ma wish I could have my subscribers, them afford it, afford the membership thing now nah work. I don't know how it now nah work. But more I say some exclusive thing for a membership thing. We are just we and blue colour from deal with the thing on a different level. You get me I say? Yeah, so Maybe I want to get back access finance, but I don't think the dollar have the growth. The dollar can't go produce the growth that the, the access produce. Because of all the whole reason. When access came into the game, it was far a different industry than it is now. 
We see where BOJ start regulate the industry. That means a lot. We see where a lot of companies start enter the industry. The profit of a share. And if you watch how dollar invest, dollar invest in a niche market in a sense. Yeah. So you have to give them respect for that. We understand what they might do. But even that niche market have a problem. For one, it's a low barrier to entry, my G. Anybody can go into the niche market anytime they feel like. So I like it's exclusive to dollar. You get me? And number two, dollar duration of dollar loan. We talk about that over and over and over and over again. Access duration of access loan was so short that access was able to grow fast. Dollar not have the privilege of right now as we speak because it's a different industry. So them have to start letting out more business loan. And as them letting out more business loan, the duration of the loans are get longer. So dollar start look like a bank and not a microfinance company. We've been a said that. And that's one of the problems dollar got run up in. So the money where dollar suck from the market, where Gary talk about dollar got suck far more money in order to sustain the model where dollar have because it's more like a business loan them all out. And we hear Chris has said, these microfinance companies are gonna look, are gonna grow as big as commercial banks. <laughs> Yo, but I be hear the brother talk more time. I laugh, my G. But I have to be careful. These people are salespeople. You're not going to live to see any microfinance company grow to become as big as any commercial bank. It's not possible. You get me, I say? Something I know. <laughs> Yo, that's a joke thing. Yeah, so. Access had what them call more um first market move or something like that because when access entered the game the game was not as fragmented as the game was now. You get me? So maybe we could pour a lot of money into access and watch access turn over that money. Me not think that exists no. Me not think that exists no. You get me? And we'll see where a dollar for start one something with them call ultra finance. Dollar got guyan on it now nah, work, but them not nah talk about it. And them start ultra finance and then it look like ultra work either. Blue collar finance are one of the first, if not the only. I just couple of people who really not have no voice out there. Me hear a question ultra finance model. Blue collar finance been a question the mother from day one. We not hear nobody at talk about it. You hear me I say? And we not say um we not say dollar put out any real figure about ultra either. So me don't know where them say where them say the growth are gonna come from. I mean, we not say dollar is a bad company. A lot of people always get when we are tired, them get what we are so wrong, you know. Not, we are not saying dollar is a bad company. What we are saying, let me spit it out, is that the growth where them say dollar go give you, it not there. Him can't do it. Them who are said dollar can grow faster and better than access, that not possible. But then again, who is me? <laughs> you get me? And you know, it's a neighbor man, the mother guru. So I guess people are going to listen to them talking and not blue color finance. Anyways, remember, done it right. So I don't want to long out the video too much. You see me? If nothing, yo, just drop it down the comment section and tell me what you think about the whole thing. But what they must say about the growth of dollar and all these things. I'm going to talk about it. You know, we always do a thing, mad thing.